Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Desmos crafting tutorial. Uh, so last time, uh, I believe we got a got a nose drawn in. So this time, uh, my goal is to you know, uh, get my goal is to uh, get an eye drawn in, and uh, and have an eyebrow, and uh, have a mouth. That will complete all of his facial features. And I'm thinking next time, well, uh, let's start working with some hair. Um, so, uh, I'll talk a little bit about the hair right now. It's, um, it's, it's not going to be as fancy as you think it is. Uh, so it's not going to be like the full out fleshed out hair. Um, it's probably, it's going to be either a few lines or, uh, or a lot of hair grouped together. Maybe a mohawk. Uh, I'll talk more about it when we get there. So, uh, for his eyes, we're going to keep it basic. Um... So, I'm going to go all, all the way down to the bottom here. And so, uh, for an oval, if you still remember, uh, um, it's x minus however much you want to shift to the right, or plus however much you, sh you want to shift to the left. So, we're going to gonna add however much you want to shift to the left. So, this is about 12.9. Um, and then we're going to add... Uh, we're not gonna add. Yeah, we're gonna add. Um, and since we're moving down, we're gonna be adding as well. If we're moving up, we're gonna be subtracting. Uh, so we're just gonna add about zero point four. The ruler on the side is really helpful. That's gonna be equal to one. But the problem is we're working with really small numbers, so we want to have a manageable number. Uh, so I'm gonna I want to use 0 0.5 squared. It's gonna be that's 0 0.5 0 0.05. Uh, so it's gonna look, but still it's relatively big. But uh, we can make adjustments by uh, multiplying by the front by how much we, we want to squish it. If we divide, we're stretching it. I I can I can go along with this. That went by much quicker than I anticipated. Because the last time when we were graphing the nose, it took such a long time to get everything lined up perfectly. We had to, we had to a lot of lonely ear. We were even approximating with that, even though all the values were even the values appeared to be uh, be perfect, but they were not. Um. Okay, and now for the pupil. Here, yeah, this is bothering some of you. All right. Uh, for a pupil, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a filled in circle. So for that, um, you know what? Let's use the same equation, and we're just gonna scale it down. Just gonna duplicate this. Um, and then. So zero point twenty. Let's have it and see. Okay, and maybe shift it a little bit more to the right. Seven, five. Almost there. <clears throat> okay, seven looks fine. Oh, no, nine looks fine. And maybe shift it down by a little bit more. Two? No, he's not looking down. He's looking forward. All right, let's go with this. And and this is what the what this colored in. I'm gonna add this less than or equal to inequality. Okay, this color this colors everything that's inside the circle. I want to color everything that's outside of it. Greater than or equal to now everything outside of this not a circle, this oval it gets colored in. Okay, we want less than or equal to, so this gets filled in. And now for the eyebrow, we have a few choices. I like to keep things simple. Um but I don't want this to get too redundant. 
Um, you know what, first one, yeah, I want to try to keep things as basic as possible. So I'm going to use similar settings for this one. So I'm going to say uh, y equals the square root. Okay, we've got a 2 multiplying in front of it, so it's going to be It's going to be root 2. Uh, so 1 over the square root of whatever this number is. And then uh, it's going to be 1. What's the radius? 1 over 20. So 1 over 20 squared. Notice that that didn't square the whole thing because, well, I could. Well, I could. Uh, it's going to be the same thing. If that's uh, if that's not enough variation for you, well, I'll uh, I'll make sure to bring in some more exciting equations for our next episode. So it would be x minus x plus twelve point nine squared, and this is going to be multi uh, multiplied by three. And now we actually also need to shift it down by 0 0.4. Okay, now, now we need to make this thing bigger. This is not his eyebrow yet, but it will be. Uh, let's try, ooh, that's 15, 12. I'll stick with 11, and then I'll just, I'll just take everything to the left of it. Negative 12.9. Maybe I actually don't end it all the way. It's got an eyes, ears. Nose and eyebrow, and he's missing a nose. No, I don't know. A mouth. Um, so for the mouth, we're, we're just gonna make him smiling. So, uh, for, if you want to make him smiling, well, uh, just for fun, we can, uh, if, if you want to go all crazy. You can give this one a try. Minus 12 plus 12.18, 12 12.85. 12 so e to the e to e to the power e to the uh, quadratic function. Uh, and then we're gonna subtract 0 0.5, 1.5 actually. It's going to keep on, oh, too much. Two, five. Okay, and then um, depending on how dramatic you want to want smile to be, if you want a sharper one. Okay, you can actually manipulate here to to a change the shape of it because it allows playing around values there to see if it made any difference. Uh, okay, and then uh, oh, okay, I see what I'm doing wrong. I can undo it. So we want to impact the parabola. We can just do it like this. Let's go from negative to twelve point eight six five. Okay, and then we'll finish to rex the the rest of this guy next time.